Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play The Inquisitor where we are gonna need to inspect the crime scene and let me quickly 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 let us quickly quickly um, take a quick look here so inspect the body and the crime scene by the nails and thorns look at all this blood it is good that I decided to look into this I should take some time now to inspect the body for the onlookers trample over the close which we will um, definitely do which we will definitely do Are there by I'm just wondering if there are gonna be more pages on toast dudes, but apparently not. Woman in Venetian mess. Mysterious woman in Venetian mess sent a band of roughnecks after me. She was wearing white glass closely. The low lives claimed her voices seemed familiar. Town guards claim that Venetian masks have recently become fashionable. Many maidens wear them during the holiday Mama's Parade. Alright. Alright, what else? We have the... Oh, hello. I found the map of the underground in the bandit's hideout. Maybe I should put it to use. Yeah, how can I bloody display it, man? The journal, but the journal we are we should not have the 22nd of September and no pages. Okay, good. Now we can finally. Not that I am into daddy bodies. We can, but now to go on with the game, take a look at the body, right? Examination. Examination is useful for finding additional information scattered ac across around around this crime scene or an opt I'm sorry with the I don't know I could not I cannot it is obviously the day of time where I just seem to have prob problems problems talking forgive me crime scene or on an object of interest to start examine examining interact with the object of interest let's hold um, targeting after examination starts control the camera with left and right the sticks if someone if something looks odd it's probably worth examining looks look for oddities and point the camera at them in order to observe and note the observation will do that sounds actually you uh, relatively easy twisted ankle the poor girl tried to run away Wait. Bruise on the face. Probably made by an aggressive client. Okay, the knees. Scratched knees. They weren't the cause of death for sure. Okay, one more clue. Okay, it it feels like a pervert <laughs> a little bit to look at, you know, as in the game here to uh, um, to not find the solution here. But I really do not see any indication. Oh, uh, okay. I 
I noticed late that we can move the angle. It appears someone knocked her out first. Maybe someone saw something. Okay, eavesdrop on the bystanders, onlookers, sorry. Now, I guess we are just gonna be able to sit down. Eavesdropping, eavesdropping helps you gain information you need to eavesdrop, find a suitable place to start listening. Alright, eavesdropping targeting. To start eavesdropping, find a suitable target and focus your sights on it. Will do. So, the bloodsuckers are still around, are they? In Kernigstein? It can't be. Well, there's this one doctor. I heard there's none better at bloodletting. He'll put leeches on you to suck the disease right out. But he'll also drain your purse dry, the bloodsucker. Alright, that was the first clue. It's good to know that the clues... Or that it gets highlighted where we can eavesdrop. I wonder... He's... The one dude was pointing in a direction. I wonder if that. Aye, that it will. Folks say there's this special whore in town. A hermitite, Hermodite, or something. She's got both a fanny and a prick. <laughs> so you and your old lady can ride her together. They say lines are forming to see her. That's how eager to fuck she is. Okay, what a nice conversation. So I wonder, at a po certain point we get slower with the movement. It makes on one hand sense, right, since we can't hear everything from range, right? Familiar face. Yes, it's Roxanne, a whore from Burgundy. I saw her around the inn. I even made use of her services a few times. She was good at her job. Half the town's humped that one. Yeah, what a conversation. Half the town, anyways. Guys, guys, guys. I don't know. I'm not from around here. I arrived only yesterday for the fair. Don't you know? Satan! It's his doing! He messes with people's heads. The way I see it, you're all fucking sus. You, me, all of them, <laughs> fuckers. Okay, find the man. Well, I found out quite a lot. Something stinks of piss here. Maybe someone was using the outhouse while the murder was being committed. All right, so then. Then is the next clue. I wonder. Is there something to collect here? It seems to be a piece of a cane. There's no blood on it. I wonder. Could it be related to the case? Let's see if I. Yeah, the stench of fish and everything just fine, but not what I. Ah, wait, my bad. My bad. Alright, the onlookers claim the girl was a prostitute. All clues point to someone knocking her out prior to removing her kidneys. What purpose did it serve? Was it part of some forbidden ritual? And the damaged cane knocking her out? Maybe no. 
I found a broken off piece of a cane near the crime scene. There was no blood on it, so it was likely not related to the case. Okay, too bad. Old coins. I found them on the thug who attacked me near the market. Square. They look different than coins used in regular circulation. They re um, they, the reverse has a coat of arms um, with waves. Alright, will do. Will do. And then find the man singing of a ruin someone. There's a strong ruined stench about them as if they pissed themselves or just left the auth house. If they were if they were answering nature's call while the murder was being committed, they might have seen something. I should find a person and uh, thoroughly question them. Shall we just follow the yellowish? Okay, that's so bad, you know, you guys, that is the second time. <laughs> Oh boy, give me a sec. Alright, we are back. I just needed to do the eavesdropping again. And I thought I'm gonna spare you that again on record, right? If I can. And then we are gonna follow the yellowish stinch. Yeah, fun fact, it happened right before the order save, right? Hmm. Wait a second. Did we already answer collapse of rotation that worked the past years? The building was designed by an honorary resident of Königstein who was awaiting its grand opening. It was to serve as a pharmacy, as the good people of Königstein deserve one, especially in these difficult times with the cholera outbreak over the corner not to forget the booming warhouse warhouse take your breath away owing to which venereal diseases including the panel my mycosis so very common in our part are present under nearly every roof Phoebus has its own pharmacy and the proud resident of Königstein can't be inferior to any underclass Pick from that desirable neighboring town. The design and construction oversight were to be entrusted to a local master, the best in his trade, Ottmar Bierkut. Everything seemed to be going according to plan until it wasn't one day a disturbing rumor spread through the town. All the master mason, Ottmar Bierkut, reportedly abandoned the construction of the pharmacy to work on another better paid and more prestigious project and so collapsing reputation he worked for over the past years, but could that not be completed by another dude? The pharmacy? I mean, it was not that he not want that the pharmacist was missing, right? Okay, he fell. Lucky us. Don't help me, sir. Come in with me, and don't try to run, or you'll feel my sword. Hey, you there! Get over here! Yes, master? Where's Captain Bertram? Interrogating guests at the inn. Who's this bum? And how did he get his hands on a cardinal soldier's coat? I hope we'll find that out soon enough. Watch him. I must have words with your commander. I'm innocent, master. Shut your mouth, you filthy bastard! No one's asking your opinion! Okay, go to the inn. Let's then at least be on the way. 
Well, we're gonna do the praying and then we are gonna end it for today. Alright, and that, you guys, then, right now, brings us already to the end of today's episode. And you know it, I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If I guess actually you have enjoyed today's episode, then why don't you give me a little tinsy? And don't worry, we are not gonna read the pharmacy thingy again in the next episode. And so then I wish you all a wonder, wonder, wonderful day. Stay frosty. Bye. But we are gonna start with the note there.